Hi everyone, AndroidNZ.net here again with a video of course to show you some more features of the recently released Galaxy Note. Now I'm currently doing a massive in-depth uh, review for the Galaxy Note. It's going to be ongoing over the next probably week or so yet, breaking down different aspects of the device and reporting back on those when I've actually had enough time as a genuine day-to-day -day user of the device to give you some quality feedback so that if you're thinking about getting the Note but you're not sure, you can make a really educated decision as to whether this is the phone for you or not. So if you haven't yet caught up with us at the blog and all of the good content we're doing on the Galaxy Note at the moment, make sure to make the trip over there. If you're thinking about the Galaxy Note but not sure, it'll be well worth your while. And what we're going to show you today is basically aspects of uh, video playback for the Galaxy Note. Now the Galaxy Note, like the Galaxy S2 before it, has an excellent stock video player. I'd go so far as to say it's unparalleled uh, in the realm of mobile phones. And that's not the same thing as to say that it's perfect. Regular users will still find that they have lots of files that will fail to play on the Galaxy Note, just as they did on the Galaxy S2, despite what a lot of the rev reviews will have reassured you against. In particular, of course, it's actually audio playback that's a problem for the Galaxy phones, things like DTS audio, AC3 audio or Vorbis audio, which are of course relatively common formats for those of us who are home encoders and converting our DVD or Blu-ray rips to videos to watch on the phone and on the go. So what I've done is, earlier in the year, with advice from a few people and input from lots of uh, concerned users about various formats that they considered important, gathered a bunch of test files together in order to really test and stretch uh, the video ca video playback capabilities of, of phones. And this is the test batch of files you're looking at here. And this is actually Dice Player, of course, which is the best player for the Galaxy S2 and also the Galaxy Note. And I'd hazard to guess that it's the best player for any phone that it supports. Uh, so I'm controlling this with a Bluetooth mouse, of course. You can see the cursor on the screen there. And now I'm just going to jump in and talk you through some of the test files that we have here. A number of the files are fallback files, so ones with lower bit rates or lower resolutions in case a device fails to play uh, the higher quality ones. So most of those, of course, aren't needed on the Galaxy Note. It actually plays all of these test files, bar one, absolutely perfectly. First up, we've got Big Buck Bunny. And we'll choose a stereo sound that's encoded in, encoded in two-channel AAC. And this is actually a DivX encoded 1080p file housed in the MKV file container. And hopefully you can see on screen that this is playing absolutely perfectly. What you won't be able to appreciate on screen is just how good it looks here. Uh, I mean, this looked great in the Galaxy S2 screen, but of course here we're seeing 12, 1280, uh, 720p detail essentially. So the picture is just that much more crisp, there's that much more preservation of detail, and it just looks absolutely wonderful. If we step outside of that one, let's have a look at the next file. And this time we're going to go to a 1080p file that's encoded in MP4. Um, and so that's the Born Automaton here. And again, hopefully you can see that video playback is just perfect. Uh, Just absolutely lovely, perfectly crisp, playing perfectly smoothly. Um, you know, the blacks and the contrast are just great being an AMOLED screen. Um, just can't get better on a mobile device at the moment. If we even move a bit further up the chain, this time we're going to have a look at a short clip from Monsters Inc. Again, this is a 1080p file and it's in the MKV file format container. And I think the thing about this one that stands out for me is it's actually got a total bitrate of 11.3 megabits per second and the video component of that is actually 9,500 kilobits per second. So this is very high bitrate video and as you're about to see the note plays it perfectly and a file like this if you output it to your HD monitor or television looks just amazing and of course even on the screen, viewing the 1080p file at the 1280 by 800 resolution of the note, it is just superb. So let's jump in. Happy birthday, 
happy birthday. Oh, googly woogly. As you can see, it's picking up the embedded uh, MKV subs here. And again, I'm sure you'll be able to appreciate that sound and video is perfect. Um, you just won't be able to make out exactly how much detail the note is showing on screen here. It's probably worth pointing out also that that one there actually has DTS encoded audio and the stock player does everything perfectly apart from handling uh, the DTS audio in that case. If we head to this one here, you'll see the note is struggling and in fact crashing. Now actually that's to be expected, that's a HD video, 1080p resolution of course but with a staggering uh, 20 megabit per second uh, video bit rate and to be honest my laptop can't play that so it's no surprise that the Galaxy Note can't play that either but as I said really wanted to stretch and test the video playback capabilities. Very quickly just want to show you some lower resolution things that highlight certain certain aspects of compatibility. This one here, uh, as you can see in the file title here, has got Vorbis encoded sound. Can't be hardware played. And this is playing by software decoding. Where are you going so early? Don't record any more messages on my alarm clock. And okay. as you can see, playback is perfect. Yeah. One thing that video does show is that actually, with the resolution of the, the note screen, lower bitrate video and lower resolution video is exposed by the quality of the note screen. And you can see a lot more black crush and other defects that aren't quite as obvious or aren't obvious at all on WVGA resolution screens like the uh, Galaxy S2. Here we have got a Sorensen encoded FLV file. Again, hardware um, decoding won't work for this. But software decoding will work fine. Move on to an XVID file. I've got one on here. Uh, it's a trailer for the Matrix Reloaded. And this one here is actually in a slightly unusual video encoding style and very, very few players indeed that I encountered uh, were able to play this one. We have a lot of choice of which subtitle we'll want to use. We'll select English. Here we go. And the subtitle file's been mislabeled. Hi, you fellas. It's a uh, we person. And see, playback is perfect. And finally, I guess we'll just quickly show you a uh, VB6 encoded file, which again, relatively few players will play, uh, and they play perfectly here. And that's this file here, clip from a documentary. And that's when Shug Knight entered the picture. Dre was the guy who doing all the music, putting everything together, who is the brain of the operation. Suge Knight was a 335-pound bodyguard who wanted to start a record label with Dr. Dre called Death Row. And another thing we can look at here, of course, is something in AC3 encoded sound. And again, this can be a problem for many players. I do notice that the stock player can handle AC3 sound this time around for the Galaxy Note. Um, this is, of course... 720p file and we'll choose English for our subtitle track. This series will take you to the last and show you the And probably like the previous videos, my recording isn't gonna show you just how stunning this looks on the note screen with its high resolution. Just can't emphasize enough how good this is for watching video. Um, I think can safely conclude that there is no finer device for watching video on the go uh, than the Galaxy Note at the present time. So if watching video is very important to you, something you do a lot on the phone, um, you would do very well to look at the Galaxy Note. And of course there's a full write-up with heaps more details about all of this over at the blog AndroidNZ.net, including links to some files where I've actually extracted all of the information from these media files using media info so you can get the full disclosure, the full information about how these files are encoded, what bit rates, what audio encoding, what style of subs and so forth so that you can really make an informed decision about you know, whether 
from the point of view of video playback, the Note is the device for you. So that's all I had for today. This is NZ Tech Freak signing off once again for AndroidNZ.net.